I got him. I caught him. But we can all be corrected. Listen, I can be corrected. That's why I will bring people on who say, hey, listen, you need to be corrected publicly on your channel. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Now you better bring it. <laughs> if you're going to correct me, I'm not going to just sit there and just say, okay, I was wrong about everything without you proving it. I want, okay, prove it. This could hurt. I remember when I was in I was in second grade. I told you the story before when there was a there was a guy named Pula. I think Pula might still be in prison. Pula uh, was talking trash and I was talking trash. Pula was in third grade. He probably should have been in fifth grade. And we got into a fight. It really wasn't a fight. Pula picked me up, spun me around a little bit and threw me in the bushes. I got up. I was embarrassed. Got up, went right back at Pula. You know what Pula did? Picked me up, spun me around threw me back in the bushes and I had to stay down. Hey, listen, you can teach me a lesson I can learn. And so uh, I got lumped up. When I say lumped up, got hit, got touched up, and neither just lumps. The, I made a statement about Tony Evans. Now, I'm the kind of person that I'll stand on what I believe and I'll try to be, try to show some integrity. I stand by what I say. And if I'm ever wrong or you want to show me the wrong, by all means, no problem. And so I made some statements about Tony Evans and I'm going to have to retract those statements. I'm going to have to retract a lot of those things. Now, I was a member of Tony Evans Church, not quite a year, about a year. And what I heard, I had no problem with what I heard. Now, this was in 2006 going into 2007. So what I heard, didn't have a real problem with it. Now, was I as, as astute in terms of the word as maybe I am now? No, uh, I was clearly uh, still learning some things, but I didn't still, what I heard, I didn't hear enough to say, okay, this is wrong. There were some things I disagreed with, but I was wrong um, because I hadn't heard those things. And so if I'm appointing someone and said this person is okay, I was just wrong. And so I saw a video, I, I wake up and there's always, you know, everyone's always uh, tagging me. Most cases, I don't even look at them. Every now and then I might, and then all right, fine, and go, and go about my business it's early in the morning. And this was today. And so I said, you know what? I've got to respond because seeing the truth, what do you do? Did you just bury your head in the sand and you just double down? Well, no. And so this is a person's response to me uh, that, okay, Corey, you were wrong. Now, let me say this. He puts a, a disclaimer. Anyone that ever wants to use a video from me, you don't have to worry about a copyright claim or anything like that. I never file any copyright claims because what, what I say is to be used by anyone who wants to. Would you be a member at Tony Evans' church? I was a member at his church. If I if I needed to go back, would I? Sure. Uh, again, let me, make, let me be clear. I think Tony Evans is a wonderful teacher. Because I keep on hearing people say that he's false. I, I'm yet to hear why he's false. And, and may, maybe I've missed it. Maybe I've missed it. So can someone tell me why he is false? Now, this is me getting ready to get some lumps. <laughs> this is me getting ready. <laughs> the Bible says, matter of fact, a, a verse I use often, and if it applies, listen, if the shoe fits, wear it. And this applies to me. This person did what he's supposed to. It, he didn't send it to me, which is fine. You don't necessarily have to send it to me because maybe he assumed that I won't, I won't uh, acquiesce to what I hear, which I will if it's, if it's in keeping with good sound teaching because what you're going to hear from Tony Evans is certainly not what I believe at all. As a matter of fact, I teach against this. And so I've got to take my lumps. But the Bible says, Paul says to preach the word, right? He says to preach the word, be ready in season and out of season. And what he's, what he's, what he's doing to me in this video is he says to reprove, rebuke, exhort with great patience. Now this part reprove, he's proving me wrong. I am wrong. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this isn't clickbait. I am, I am definitely wrong on this. Finally, the penalty for apostasy. You got to hold your seatbelt. Get your seatbelt. I know you don't have one, but pretend there's one. What makes a person a false teacher? What they want, what they think about salvation. God takes apostasy very seriously. When you depart from the faith, you're saved because assurance has nothing to do with this. 
So he hasn't come up with any sort of destructive heresy. So I would I, again, I would like to see or hear what makes him a false teacher. What 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 makes him a false teacher? Um, now he made a statement earlier that I I refuse to listen to. I haven't heard anything. This my this now maybe I should have. Maybe I should have done a better job of hearing. But I haven't heard anything previous. I haven't heard this part before. Have I heard all of his preachings and sermons? No, I have not. I haven't. Now, do I have access to all of them right now? I do, but I don't have time to listen to those things. And so, uh, given this again, I just saw this this morning. And so, hey, listen, you gotta, you have to do the right thing. And this is, this is clear. I, I, did, I didn't know this. So, uh, if anyone in the future has something like that, hey, Corey, this is what you're saying. You want some information? Look at this. And if I get a chance to look at it and I see that it's wrong, and especially in this, it goes counter to even what I believe and what I teach, well, then sure. Um, uh, as I'm scrolling down, I want to see. Uh, he, he he teaches free grace theology. I don't know about that. Uh, he, he he teaches free grace theology. I don't know about that. If you're trusting Christ alone as the guarantor of your eternal destiny, you're saved. But he's now talking about what happens to God's kids when they apostatize. Is Christ how we get to heaven? Absolutely. Does he preach that? Absolutely. What does he think about sin? Is sin okay? You'll never hear him say that. You'll never hear Tony Evans say that sin is okay. If you mess over Jesus Christ in an unrepentant way, because God loves you so much, he will never take your salvation from you. This, this thought that, and by the way, everyone gets lumped in the category of free grace for nowadays. The truth is, people do get lumped in the category of free grace. I keep, I get lumped in the category of free grace. Uh, then, after this, probably after this video, I'll get some devil horns on my head because that's usually who. The last few devil horns that I've gotten on my head have been from guys in the free grace camp, but I've gotten it from both sides. I'm not free grace, but a lot of folks do get lumped in there. But speaking of lumps, I'm taking my lumps right now. Everyone gets lumped in the category of free grace or this and that or whatever. You, you might want to pull back. If you mess over Jesus Christ in an unrepentant way, because God loves you so much, he will never take your salvation from you. Eddie says, if you don't abide, you aren't saved. I say, if you don't abide, you're not saved. You must abide. Tony Evans also says that you will abide, that he is, God is going to cause you to abide. So, yeah, you must abide, Eddie. We, ha we absolutely have to abide. When you depart from the faith, and you get to the point of giving up your confidence and you have lifted up a high hand against God. What you've said is, I don't want you anymore. You've apostatized. You're saved because assurance has nothing to do with this. If you're trusting Christ alone as the guarantor of your eternal destiny, you're saved. But we can all be corrected. Listen, I can be corrected. That's why I will bring people on who say, hey, listen, you need to be corrected publicly on your channel. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Now you better bring it. <laughs> if you're going to correct me, I'm not going to just sit there and just say, okay, I was wrong about everything without you proving it. I won't. Okay, prove it. Now, I will push back on me being a hypocrite, but fine. I got that coming. If you, if, if you think that I've heard something and I still refuse to change my tune, because listen, Tony Evans didn't die on the cross for me. I don't, I don't owe an allegiance to him at, at all. So uh, I would, I would push back on that, but you don't know that I haven't seen all this information, so it maybe gives the appearance that I am, and that that's fine. Listen, this is me exposing, helping you to expose me, because that's just, that is wrong what Tony Evans is preaching. And so because of that, now you will find that those two videos that I had on him, they will come down. I do honor, uh, show honor for what he's done, but if this is what you're teaching, and yeah, it's not an every day, an every Sunday uh, sermon, but if you come back, and you tell people that they can do what they want to live how they want to and have a high hand and say to say to the Lord that I no longer want you. You say to the Lord that I no longer want you. That tells me a little bit about you, because remember, Jesus brings up this point in Luke eight. Uh, I, I bring this passage up often because this is Jesus speaking about the different kind of people that would place their faith in Christ, some legitimately, some not true. He says the parable is this. Those who beside the road are those who heard. Then the devil comes and takes away the word from their heart so they will not believe or be believing, which is the word, the, this is the participle, be believing and be saved. Those on the rocky soil are those who, when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have no firm root. 
they believe for a while and in time of temptation fall away sounds like what tony evans is 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 preaching in the clip that the, that the uh, i don't know if this is man or woman i'm not sure uh, is bringing up the seed which fell among the thorns these are the ones who have heard and as they go on their way they are choked with the words and riches and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to maturity. These clearly aren't people who are saved. Notice that Jesus calls them or says about them uh, in, in, the, in the previous verse that they believe for a while, they believe temporarily. That's not the kind of belief that we're talking about. The believing ones, the high pitched ones, the ones that are continuously believing, those are the Christians. Those are the ones who have the Holy Spirit in them. Their heart is the good ground. The word is receiving that good ground and they as verse 15 says, they bear fruit. Uh, he says, verse 15, the seed in the good soil, these are the ones who have heard the word in an honest and good heart and hold it fast and bear fruit with perseverance. Saying that you're saved and then deciding that, you know what, I want to leave and go do something different or be in part of something else. You were never saved to begin with. Remember, Jesus describes his sheep. Jesus says that his sheep will not do that. In, uh, in verses four and five, that the sheep will not do this. As a matter of fact, they will flee from something like that. So yeah, if that's what he's preaching, that is wrong. That is a heretical, heretical practice and teaching to say that you can be saved and then depart from the belief. Uh, no, that, that cannot happen. Matter of fact, what he's describing is not only departing from the head belief, but also from a believing. And we never see in the scriptures anyone any, anywhere in scripture, someone who was believing departing from having belief, but we do see people departing from the belief, from the tenets of the faith. As a matter of fact, uh, 1 Timothy 4 speaks about this. He says, but, but the Spirit explicitly says that in the latter times, some will fall away from, notice what he says, taste pisteos, pisteos, which is the faith, not from having belief, not the verb, but from the noun, the set of beliefs, paying attention to deceitful spirits and doctrines of demons. What he's preaching and teaching is wrong. With, without question, no if, ands, buts, or about it. And so I've got to say, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot recommend him because that is just wrong. Love him to death, but man, that is, that's wrong. And now, do I believe that just free grace in and of itself is wrong? No, I don't believe that. Uh, do I believe that it's heresy? No, because there are different degrees. There are some that believe that the person who says that if, I'm, if I place my faith in Christ and then later on, become a Muslim or Hindu or become an atheist that I'm saved. No, you're not. You never were saved to begin with. Some free gracers believe that. Some don't believe that. Some hold to, wait a second, that person that says that, that was never a believer because there are people who give, give a false confession, uh, who appear to be saved, but never were. As, that's why Jesus makes the statement, I never knew you. And so I take my lumps. Uh, again, if anyone wants to show me where I've been wrong in the past, you, you said this and now here's the proof. Uh, if I see the proof, then I'm wrong. Then no if, ands, buts about it. And so I was wrong. I've got that coming. And what Tony Evans is preaching, that's just wrong. That gives people the, the impression, uh, because there are going to be those in every church, including Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship, 11,000 people there. There are going to be those that are going to be there and they will hear this and think that, yeah, you know what? I'm not feeling Jesus right now. As a matter of fact, I'm really feeling more of my homosexual tendencies. I'm feeling more of my cheating tendencies. I'm feeling more of this worldly tendency. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to explore that a little bit more. And yeah, you know what? Uh, forget you, Jesus. I ain't got time for you right now. You know what? Later on, but I'm still saved. No, no. As a matter of fact, the warning is for those that have that thought that have turned their back on him that have rejected him. And so living that way, you are rejecting him and you cannot be saved. Jesus makes a statement. I'm sorry. Uh, John makes a statement about a person who practice sins. Now, notice what he says in first John three, nine, he says, no one who is born of God is practicing sin is living this way. Um, a, which is, they are doing the sin. The one that has been born, uh, Gagenemanos, that person that has been born is going to practice those sins. Now, Paul brings up this issue that he says, the things that I hate, I practice doing those things. But his point is, um, he says, he's using, he's using the way in the sense that uh, my mind, I don't want to do those things. And so I might sin, but my desire is not to. So, and we all are going to sin. The issue is, do you desire to keep sinning? I want to keep doing this. Well, that means you were never saved because Jesus, John says that no one who has been born does that. The person who might have sin in their life, but their heart 
that's why Paul used the word thalo, desire. My desire is not to do that. The person that Tony Evans seems to be describing is the person that has a desire to do so and doesn't care. He says that person, even if they turn their mind, their mouth, their back and everything against him, as he says, a high handed fist against God, that person still say that person's not safe. And that's a, that's a bad message to teach. And I'm sorry uh, for any of my role that would have led someone to think that that's okay. It's not okay. And so guys, I apologize. And again, I can be corrected if you just show it to me again, I'm a, uh, you have to show it to me. You don't just, you can't just say this. And so this is literally the first time that I've heard this or saw this. And so forgive me, pardon me for being slow if that's what it was. Uh, but you can show as a matter of fact, you should, Again, as the Bible says, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering constantly over and over again. And I don't care who you are. If you're Corey Miner, if you're Tony Evans, if you're John Smith, if you're Joe Blow, if you're John Doe, whoever, uh, this applies for everyone. No one is above being corrected. Amen.